Today is a very exciting show. Why? Because it's a special on the heart of daytime. Because everybody knows that soap operas are the heart of daytime. And also our soap stars, they're the heart to the soap band. And today's guest, all the way from L.A., is the bad boy of soap operas, Sean Cannon. He's going to share with us his new cookbook, The Modern Gentleman, Cooking and Entertaining the Sean Cannon. Yes, but better known to our soap hands. His name is Deacon Sean. He's originally from the Bold and the Beautiful, but now he's on the Young and the Restless. This low life is Deacon Sean. Yeah. No! Richard! No! Oh, Deacon! Deacon! In this first part of the but show, we're going to talk to Sean about his career of as course. an actor. Yes. Yes. And he joins us from his home in Los Angeles. Yes. Thank you, Sean. Yes, thank you so much. <laughs> okay, Sean, how are you doing, first of all? How are you doing? I'm doing well. I'm, uh, you know, it's all good. Okay, like, good, good, doing, good. Doing the interview with my band on a Sunday. It doesn't get any easier. <laughs> Wow, what a luxury. Right. Wow, we're in, sh we're in your bedroom. I'm sure your soap <laughs> fans are going to uh, right. uh, love that. Wow. Okay, first of all, Sean, we want to ask you, the fans want to know, your soap fans, how did you get into acting? I slept with a lot of producers. <laughs> um, <laughs> you know, I've always, I've always wanted to act. I think since about the time I was about 14, I started doing stand-up comedy, and I mean, I was doing plays, and I just, I just knew I wanted to kind of express myself. I didn't know how it was going to turn out, and um, I went to school in Boston. I was studying political science, and I wound up uh, moving out to Los Angeles in 1987, and just started knocking on a lot of doors. Okay, right, right. That, now, your first big uh, part was Karate Kid. Is is that correct? What yeah, that was, that was my that was my first big role. Yeah, wow. Karate Kid Three. Okay. And what part was that? What you did? Uh, I played. Uh, I played the bad guy. I was the guy that got uh, to beat up Daniel San. You always <laughs> so, playing the bad guy. <laughs> and, and it was, you know, it was an interesting story because um, I got that part out of an open call. Um, I went to the casting director's office the day before the audition. I said, "Hey, I'm like a real actor. Can I audition?" And she said, uh, "No, you have to uh, audition with all the uh, the other actors." in an open call, so I showed up in the studio, and there were about 2,000 people standing in line. Wow. And the director, John Avelson, who had directed Rocky, he won the Academy Award for Rocky, was walking up and down the line, and he I, he was he stopped and talked to me, and I knew I had about 10 seconds to try and, you know, get this guy's attention. And uh, and I did. And they How'd you get his the attention? Studio. Come on, tell us, Joy. <laughs> what did you say in those 10 seconds to make you know him what? want you? I have, to, I have to be honest, he, he, he's a real little guy, okay? <laughs> and and uh, he said, uh, I want you to intimidate me. I can't tell you what I said, okay? Uh, okay. <laughs> Suffice it to say that um, I scared the shit out of him. <laughs> uh, oh, my goodness. <laughs> and uh, I actually, I went inside, I went in the studio, I screen tested with Ralph Macchio, and they hired somebody else. And they uh, fired that guy two days later, and they called me back, and I got the part. So I've, I've made a career of being like the second choice. Wow. Uh, that's okay. Wow. And, and that, that works. Yeah. I'm going to turn the interview on you guys. So are you guys like, you two are close friends? Yeah. He's worked yeah. quite a uh, bit together. Alora is a fabulous singer. Like, she, really? she can belt it out. You well, know what I'm saying? I put so people on the spot. I, 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 I put people on the spot. There Come on, Laura. It's his interview. No, 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 no. He turned the interview on. So, hey, Laura, so is that what you want to do? Go ahead, Laura. Belt something out. Go ahead. Go ahead. 
tonight I see you for the very first time your eyes shine like diamonds your smile so That's great. Yes. So oh my god, it's like I want to do a remake of The Bodyguard with you. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that was really sounding. You too much. I love it. Now, I want to ask you, Sean, what is the difference between working on the big screen than working on primetime TV and soap opera? Um, what is the difference? Um, te technically, yeah. The difference is you have to be aware of the fact that we are on a 30 foot tall screen. <laughs> um, you're, you're, you need to be smaller. Do you know what I'm saying? I mean, it's just, um, I, I don't know. I, acting's acting's acting. Okay. You know, I mean, it's Not like you do, the same, you do the same thing no matter whether you're in a play or whatever. Uh, you know, if you're in a play, you just need to be aware of the fact that you got to let the people in the, the back seats hear you. Do you know what I mean? But for okay. me, it's all the same. Okay, great. Now, uh, uh, Sean, I, I have to... Uh, I love how you say my name, Sean. Sean, <laughs> you're in Brooklyn, and right? so hot. Sean. Sean, oh Karen, and we, I have to um, thank on air your agent, uh, Anthony Turk, for uh, uh, getting this interview for us. Thank you, Anthony Turk. Uh, uh, I, I, I watched three of your clips, and this is for the soap fans that are, you know, I'm sure you have a, a huge following. Actually, I, watched I, don't, no clip, one cares I watched the clip where oh, yeah, where that. you um, tricked Bridget. Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! I was like, I was is like, this guy for real? He's terrible. He's a I, got, I got my mother-in-law pregnant. Oh, oh my god! god. Yeah, we get to that. We get to that. Okay. Do you but have? Did you see her? Writing? I mean, the writing come is on. excellent. The writing is. I, that's why I was surprised about like. Who is the writer? Do you help with the writing? It was like, oh my uh, gosh. Like <laughs> no, actually. Yeah. Actually, and I, you're I, such I, a natural. She like, did. Uh, um, no, I don't help with the writing. They basically give me my scripts and I look at it and go, wow, so that's what I'm going to be doing this week. Wow, you did a great job. Yeah. Sometimes I'm like, wow, I don't even know that actress and I'm going to be rolling around naked with her. Uh, <laughs> <I'm gonna laughs> Can you talk a little bit about that, Sean? What is it like to... What do you want to know? What do you want to know, darling? Because <laughs> I, I, I am you, in my bed right now, so... How do you, you know, do those like, scenes? Running, it's kind of like three of us in my bed. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> what do you, you want to know? Okay, so, like, you're in... You're, let's talk about the clip with with Bridget. I, I'm stuck on that for, for some reason. It was just so okay, well you got to refresh my memory because that was from Bold and the Beautiful, which I did, like, eight years ago, so... Okay, so wow. Bridget's trying to get a DVD with you, and then at the very end of the clip, she, she says, well, I guess you don't want your DVD. She storms out. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, her, her, her and you have you the, the, you phone, the phone, the phone. Uh, so her boyfriend oh, no, no, can, oh, yeah. boy can, can hear, I guess you two guys it. making love all night they, long. They had, they, had, they had me do that on uh, Young and the Restless, too. I'm famous for leaving the phone like so that people can hear what I'm saying. <laughs> uh, so, you know, um, yeah, you know, sometimes the stuff that they write and ask us to do, I mean, I'm like, thank God I get to do that on TV because, you know, it, I, I get to live that out on TV because my life is a lot less interesting in, in reality than my character is. I can't believe that. Well, I know you have, a, you have a dog right there. Where is your dog? I thought he was going to be part of this interview. And... Nikki, Nikki, come here. Where and I got, my, I, got, I got my stepdaughter here, too. Hold on oh, a second. Oh, and your stepdaughter. Aww. Okay. Hi. Uh, that's, 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 that's Julie. Hi, Julie. Uh, hold on. I'll get Nikki for you. Here. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. So this is Nick. This is Nick. Okay. Aww. And he's part of your life. So... You're, so you're saying she, that no, your she life, is, she is, your life off the soaps is a lot more tame than what we see on the soaps. Um, <laughs> yeah, I, I suppose it is. I mean, you know, I have my moments, but um, yeah, I, I would say my life off soaps is a lot more tame. Stop, Nikki. Okay. I kill you. Um, yeah, I uh, I just got engaged. Oh. Um, that's kind of cool. Congratulations. Congratulations. You. Who's the lucky lady? Do you who? Who is it? Hey, Michelle, come here, lucky lady. Mother, I'm gonna beat you again. Come on. Um, we got engaged 
watching on 11 11 because I was like, at least I won't forget it, right? Wow. I got 11 11, I'm not going to forget it, so. That's nice. Wow. Uh, what about you guys? You guys got boyfriends, husbands? What's up? I <laughs> okay, <laughs> yeah, okay. Right? Yeah. Right. I'll flip the script on, on you, too. I, I have a boyfriend, yes. Do you, so, are you in love? Um, yes, I'm in love. See, that's the right answer, because I was like, if you were to say no, I was like, then why are you with him? Yeah, that's oh. right. It's all about love. And, that's and, right. and what about you? I have a boyfriend also. I'm in love also. He's a sweetheart. Good. Yeah. I like that. Good. <laughs> Good. Okay, back to you, Sean. <laughs> 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 I can't turn the interview. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's funny.